Miss Melina is just told about about teaching about English, math, science, science and history. Mm -hmm. And and then study skills. Oh, how hard it was in this class dealing with people, how they distracted me and all of that. And then sometimes Miss Lena got mad. I wanted to cuss her out. But I didn't. I thought about it before I actually did something. And then, and I'm going to talk about how I learned from in the beginning. I came there and it was hard. I didn't understand anything she was talking about. And then now today, I learned. And it's much easier to learn now because Miss Lena taught me very carefully and she taught me how things go, how they were supposed to be and everything else. And that's it. I'm done. Okay, let's move this What's what's your favorite thing we've done this year? Mm, I like science and history. History is better because we actually get to move around and learn about other people. It don't got science and it don't got math involved and all that. And I don't do good with math anyway. I just like science history. That's my two best things. That's why I'm good at that anyway. Cool. Anything else you want to add? Nope. You good? Yep. Thank you. I don't want to. Come on, Donald. Uh -huh. You take pictures on my computer. <laughs> That's it. You take pictures on my phone of yourself. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about your year. It was fun. Except for the part where I got suspended. Did I suspend you? No. What was fun about it? Everything. What was your favorite thing we did? The projects. What was your favorite project? The egg project. What was your favorite thing about it? Did I get to throw stuff? You mean drop things? <laughs> same, same thing. What else can you say about this year? That's it. What should I do next year to make things better for you? Same thing that you did this year. Should I add any? Should I do more projects, less projects? More projects. Any ideas for projects? Slingshots. Slingshots. What about rockets? Oh, yeah. What was the hardest thing? Nothing. Nothing? All right. Anything else you want to add? I skateboard. Tell us about yourself. I have nothing to say. What about fish? I love fish. You love fish and you love skateboarding? Yep. Do you have a fish skateboard? No. <laughs> about this year it was good we did projects we did so many projects fun projects boat projects uh cup egg tossing projects and gummy war and boat floating and uh, it was fun it was a fun class and the projects were fun and I don't know if there was anything else. I know that the class was fun and the projects were fun. And that the pets were fun. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And what was your favorite project we did? The egg drop project. And what was the funnest thing about that? That we, we build it and then we throw it. Like, Right, mm -hmm. And what did you learn about that project? What what was our topic? Trying to keep it safe. Trying to keep it safe. And what were you saving the egg from? Gravity. The phone brought to me. 
I my this year was great for me. I learned a lot of stuff and Miss Molina is a great teacher to to be. I'm glad that she's my teacher. She is very intelligent. She she helped she helped me with most of my stuff and helped me excel in most in my in my classes. What was your favorite part? When some dances, Mayfest came. What was the best part about Mayfest? Actually, the dance, hanging out with your friends. And how were you able to go to Mayfest? To buy a ticket. With what? Crespy Cash. How do you get Crespy Cash? How do you earn it? By being in the Anything else you want to add? My name is Simone. I'm in seventh grade. I am in I am in a special education class and the Miss Molina has helped us a lot in learning and stuff, like some stuff we didn't understand our regular education. So she has helped me like just um give me a lot of success with some of my grades and stuff. So I've been working hard with Miss Molina. She's She's going to be helping us some more um, in the summertime. She's really a great teacher. And some of the subjects may be hard because she teaches us how to understand <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm David, and I'm in the seventh grade. And basically, my introduction to the whole school year was I had a fun time at Crestview Middle School. And I say, Overall, my teacher, Ms. Molina, has been a great, awesome, and young, and very educated teacher. She had, sometimes she had her worst times, and sometimes she had her good times with students. But I say that for the next year, for the next students who come, will be second, me in seventh grade, I mean, <clears throat> she need to be a little stricter probably, or if I like, Lay, lay off sometimes, but don't be like too mean where students get very irritated. But I think I'm talking basic terms that you have to be more stricter. And like sometimes you have a soft spot, sometimes you don't. So I'm basically saying don't be afraid to use referral if students are out of hand. That's basically what I said. Thank you, David. Hello, my name is Gail Pavlich. I am a science teacher at Juan Crespi Middle School. I have been teaching at this particular school, I think, seven years now. I taught uh, high school chemistry back in Syracuse, New York. Um, I have taught uh, nine years at Adams Middle School and one year at White Hill Middle School. I love the challenges of middle schools. Um, they provide the most challenges and also the most frustrations. For any first-year teacher teaching in a school um, such as this one or any in West Contra Costa, um, they would lead a lot of first year teachers to not want to teach anymore. Uh, it takes an enormous amount of energy, preparation, um, and fortitude to do this job. Uh, and you, the first couple of years you do not get paid enough. Uh, Jahira, um, unfortunately I didn't even say her name correctly the first uh, couple days. But uh, that was neither here nor there. She just smiled at it. She she went with the flow. She was so patient. Some people are just a little bit, you can see they get a little irked. And it's just like, with a, I have 180 students, and I just was like, I just appreciated the fact that of her flexibility. One of the, one of the greatest strengths a teacher can have is flexibility and, and creativity. And she has both. I have... Um, I have witnessed in the last couple of years from Teach for America and um, some of the most brilliant teachers. Um, uh, I, I wish I was half that prepared when I went into to teaching. Uh, she is always prepared. She always has ideas of what she's going to do. Um, she has no problems coming and talking and 
letting me know that she's frustrated with something, you have to be able to open yourself up like that, and she can definitely open herself up like that. She um, uh, always is well prepared. Um, and always trying to not only win the hearts and minds of her, t her students, which is right up there with walking on water to do so, but she also wants to try pretty innovative um, curriculum with them. I think it's pretty advanced, and, and she's not afraid to go there. And I don't know how many... And I don't know how how you did it because I would have quit because I don't understand how you deal with these kids. These kids, it's crazy. But I appreciate you for um, helping us. And even though we got mad at you sometimes and said some things that we didn't want to say, and we appreciate you for everything you did. And I hope you be here next year because I don't want no other teacher. I'm so I'm so serious, Miss Lena. Don't leave. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't want. I'll, I'll, I'll be here. Thank you, God. And I appreciate you because if I was if I was you, I would have quit. I would seriously quit and just never came back. I'm so serious. I would have locked myself inside my house and really never came back. Because these kids is crazy. We is crazy. I'm not going to lie. We is crazy. But I respect you and everything that you do for us. And you ready? We're all gonna sing with you too. Okay. Here we go. Volunteer, here to help. Brand new school, ring a bell. Brand new shoes, walking blues, and I can tell that we are going to be friends. Everyone, repeat that after me. I can tell that we are going to be friends. Oh my gosh, that's great. One more time. Do that. It sounds great. I can tell that we are going to be friends. Here we go. Walk with me. Walk with me, Natalie, through the park and by the trees. We will sit up on the ground and look at all the books we found. Awesome. See, repeat that. Then we walk the door out of sound. Seven, come on.